We're still talking about Article 50, but what is it and why does it matter? In the rulebook of the European Union, Article 50 is the bit that sets out how a country can leave. And as we've seen, that is a pretty complicated process. Now, Article 50 allows two years for negotiations, and the UK started the clock in March 2017. The UK government and the EU eventually reached a deal at the end of last year. That's the withdrawal agreement, basically the terms of the divorce, and a declaration on what the future after Brexit might look like. But the UK Parliament rejected both parts of this deal, so Theresa May had to ask the EU for more time. Article 50 can be extended if all 28 EU countries agree, and that can happen more than once. The rules don't set any limits. So we now have a new deadline, October the 31st. But if the extended Article 50 period ends with nothing still finalised, then the UK would leave the EU with no deal. All the laws that govern the relationship between the UK and the EU would disappear overnight. The other option is to revoke Article 50, withdraw it altogether. That would cancel Brexit and mean the UK would remain in the EU on the same terms that it has now. The UK has the right to do that on its own, without the agreement of other countries. Now, supporters of Brexit say that would betray the referendum result when 17.4 million people voted to leave. But critics say people now know far more about what leaving the EU really means. And they deserve another say, another referendum, on whether it all makes sense. And all the while, the Article 50 clock ticks on. One day, it will have to stop. But that won't be the end of negotiations. Whatever Article 50 eventually produces, much of the future relationship will still be up for grabs. And we'll be talking about it for years. Thank you.